Former Governor Nikki Haley continued sharpening her comments about Donald Trump. He honestly thinks if he says something, it just becomes true. She was talking about a claim he's been making about her position on Social Security, but it applies just as easily to his many false statements about the 2020 election or his claims about the criminal charges he faces. Things he says over and over again, and his supporters believe him. Entrance polling shows evidence of this in Iowa, but what about voters in New Hampshire? We asked Gary Tuckman to find out. We came to downtown Portsmouth, New Hampshire, with two specific questions for people who plan to vote in Tuesday's Republican primary. Both questions that were asked on CNN's entrance poll in Iowa. The first. The question that was asked to people, is Donald Trump fit for the presidency if convicted of a crime? And 65% of the Republicans said, yes, he's fit for the presidency. Almost two thirds. How do you feel about that? Is he fit if he's convicted of one of these crimes? I, I do feel as though he is still fit to be president of the United States, yes. So if he's found guilty, you would still vote for him? Yes. But this man who had told us he's voting for Nikki Haley feels much differently. If he's convicted of a crime, I don't think he should be the president. Hank Boucher says he hasn't decided who he will vote for, but does say he likes Trump. Is Donald Trump fit for the presidency if he's convicted of a crime? 91 counts against him. I would say yes, because I don't think there's any legitimate things that they're charging him for. Why is that? What are they charging him for? It's all crap stuff that Biden wants him out. We told him there's no evidence whatsoever that President Biden is behind any of this. But Hank Boucher is sticking with what he believes. So Biden's going to do anything and everything he can do to get him out. Cause I mean, that's what Donald Trump is saying, that, oh, okay. that Biden's against him. But you're believing Trump about that. Yeah. You say it's Biden's fault, that these are not yeah. legitimate charges. Definitely. Then there is the second question from CNN's entrance poll, also showing nearly two-thirds of Iowa caucus goers siding with Trump. You're voting for Donald Trump. The question for you is, do you think Joe Biden legitimately won the election in 2020? Yes. Dick Porzio says he's probably voting for Ron DeSantis. Do you think Joe Biden legitimately won in 2020? Yeah, I do. Mary Lou Carr is voting for Haley. Do you think Joe Biden won legitimately in 2020? Yes, I do. Carvel Taft is also voting for her. Do you think Joe Biden legitimately won the election in 2020? I do. And does it bother you that Donald Trump keeps saying that's not the case? No, it doesn't bother me. I expect that from him. Alex Zeta feels much differently. He's a Trump supporter who's pretty much all in. There was an, a lot, a lot of finagling going on. There's no doubt about it. Whether it caused him to win, I don't know. What kind of finagling? Just with uh, the voters uh, stealing of ballots, I think, hearing things about trucks carrying ballots from here to here. You're not telling me what you're saying. You're talking about hearing about these things. Well, seeing them on TV, seeing them take... And seeing things, but, and seeing, but there's no evidence of that. It's something that Donald Trump keeps talking about and saying, yeah. but there's no evidence of any widespread fraud. But yet you believe there was. I, I really do, yeah. So what happens if Donald Trump ends up hearing one or more guilty verdicts? This was not a lonely sentiment. So if he's convicted of one of these crimes, which uh, could result in prison time, would you still vote for him for prison? Uh, yes, I would. Do you think it's possible that Donald Trump is just making up things as he goes along, that he's basically punking you? No. Do you know what punking means? No. Tricking you? No, he's not. Gary joins us now. Did any of the voters you spoke with signal that they're bothered by lack of evidence for his claims about the 2020 election being stolen? Yeah, I have talked to a few people here, Anderson, who are voting for Donald Trump this Tuesday and say they are bothered by the lack of evidence. They are bothered that he keeps talking about these allegations, but they're not bothered enough not to vote for him this Tuesday.